Lisan al Gaib, otherwise known as the tongue of the unseen. The Freeman term for an offeral prophet or messiah applied to Paul Atreides in June. But in this case, my guy is called Tim Holland. Silence! If you haven't already, like and subscribe, alright? So, Thief is probably the vocation I've had the most fun with and it's also the vocation that I've died the least. In fact, I don't remember dying at all as a thief. Like, it's probably the most fun I've had out of all of them so far that I've used. Um, it's just very fast paced and like there's a lot of mechanics that it enables you to dodge enemies quickly, uh, do high damage to big bosses, like I switched out a lot of the skills but I'm going to show you guys in this video the skills that I use the most out of all of them <clears throat> and also maybe it's because my pawns are higher level too, maybe that's why I've had an easy time with a thief so I do think having good pawns around you is very very essential but man I'm telling you this build, the thief I have, it's you can take out small enemies, you can take out big bosses quickly. Um, every class I have, I always have a skill that can deal with anything that's ranged because the harpies are, I think, in this game, like the most annoying to deal with. Um, but yeah, this build that I'm gonna show you guys is like my go-to as a thief. And I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of damage you can do as a thief and you're fast and they're really good at gripping enemies and like taking them down quickly so um, if you haven't watched my other videos my archer my range class go check that out if you want to check out those uh, builds or the skills I use with them but apart from that let's get right into it so cutting wind it's really good if enemy attacking you can use it and you kind of dodge them and you do damage too so it's one of my go-to's for small enemies now the ignited blades now having elemental damage is key you can use it against goblins you can use it against werewolves against like bosses against ogres like you can use it for pretty much most enemies in the game now every setup i have i always have something that can take out the enemies that are a bit higher up like the harpies they are quite far to reach so skull splitter is my go-to if i need to hit harpies um because obviously you just can't reach them with normal attacks now this is my favorite skill from the thief class it's the jaw and quarter now with this move um, if you hit a vital point on a big boss, it does a lot of damage. The only bad thing is, once you use this move, just like as it says, it's going to jump off right after you've used it. So you need to use a couple of moves before you use that as the last move. It's more like a finishing move if they're nearly down. Special shout outs are the skill that's going to make you feel like an anime character. You basically, when you activate it, you just dodge everything in sight without even trying. It does consume stamina. I've used it a little bit, but it's not part of my main setup, you know what I mean? So, as I said, igniting blades is key before going into battle, just do a little bit more damage. In this clip as well, as you can see, I'm using Cutting Wind. You can slice and dice enemies, like, a lot. It does consume a bit of stamina, but you can do it a lot if your stamina is quite high up. It's also good if an enemy is about to attack you and you use the move, and you, you're basically dodging it, but hitting them at the same time. So, Cutting Wind is key when it comes to doing damage for the small enemies and also the big enemies. Now also if an enemy is quite far away and you just want to do like a closing in distance type of move, the cutting win is perfect. You see that dodge over there? He jumped up and I basically just went under him. Like honestly, this skill is so useful when it comes to most situations. So make sure you put this in your thief setup. Look at that, bang. I just realized whenever you put that skill on when you ignite the blades it reminds me of Kratos's blades of chaos oh, yeah. so igniting the blades you can use it when you're on the ground but you can also use it when you're already on top of the enemy which, as you can see, is really useful over here. You have my Oof, one slash. Two slash, three slash, four. Now, in any vocation that I use, 
apart from the archer actually you need a skill that can take care of enemies that are quite high up like the harpies per se because you can't always rely on your pawns to do everything for you so just in case you should always have a class that can reach them unless you're the archer or the mage because you can pretty much reach them um because you're a long range in it can touch me it can also be used to do damage on the boss's vitals just like that headshot <laughs> headshot I feel like with this vocation, it it's okay. very easy to kill bosses already, and target their heads and just do my damage. Well. Like, this class is crazy, bro. Damn. That was way too easy, man. Way too easy. There's another boss? What the? Where'd you come from, bro? As I've mentioned with the draw and quarter, it has to be the last thing you do because once you use the skill, you basically do damage and get off. So it's better to do small attacks and then use the move to finish them off. We'll do some damage at the top and then we'll do the gun run. Or if you upgrade it, it's called the draw and quarter. Just wait until I do as much damage as I can. Yeah, we'll do it now. Gut and run. Cheers! Jeez! That drone quarter is OP, bro. The Thief vocation definitely stole the show. It's been my favorite vocation so far. I've probably enjoyed it the most out of every vocation I've done so far. So tune in for the next video where I'm going to be showing you guys my skills that I use as a warrior. Peace out. Easy.